Well, first of all, um, these are some mind-blowing numbers, but I couldn't have done it without my team because you're only as good as your team is, and I want to say thank you to everybody who was joining my dream. And let me tell you, when I was standing there um, on top of the world, you become so humble, you do not think about breaking records anymore, you do not think about um, gaining scientific data. The only thing that you want is you want to come back alive, you know, because you do not want to die in front of your parents, your girlfriend, and all these people watching this. <laughs> This became the most important thing to me when I was standing out there. Go a little bit further forward so we can check your shoot. I said, I know the whole world is watching now and I wish the world could see what I see. And sometimes you have to go up really high to understand how small you are. No, there was a period of time where I really thought I'm in trouble because I have a, a manual push button where I can release a drogue shoot which pulls me out of the flat spin. But at the same time, I knew if I push that button, this thing is all over, we're not gonna fly supersonic. And it's hard, when you fall down at that speed, you have to make that decision, you know. Some, somehow you have to make that call. Do I push that button and stay alive? Or do I fight all my way down and break the speed of sound? And, and after a couple of seconds, I had that feeling, I get it under control, and I did. And that's the reason why we broke the speed of sound today. It's, it's hard to describe because I didn't feel it. You know, when you're in that pressure suit, you don't feel anything. It's like being in a cast. And it happened somehow down the line, you know, I don't know, we have to look at the data, at what point uh, was I still spinning or was already under control? We have to look at the data, but I didn't feel it at all. Because the thing is, if, if you want to judge speed, you need, you've got reference points that passing by or you have a sound or your suit is flapping. I have none of these signs, so you don't know how fast you travel. The most beautiful moment was when I, was standing on the, at, the, at the landing area and Mike Todd showed up. And he had a smile like a little kid. He was, <laughs> I mean, he, he became like my mom of all these years because when, he was always dressing me up for tests and for <laughs> first skydives, you know, and we became real friends. And I think I became like his son. So he was so happy when I, he saw me on the ground alive. Yes. And that was the best moment of this. I want to inspire the next generation. I would love from in four years sitting at the same spot that Joe Kittinger is sitting here. And there's a young guy sitting right next to me and asking for advices because he wants to break my record. It's way more difficult than everything that I've done so far and I think I'm done. <laughs>